The VKB Gunfighter Mark III is it as good as it sounds. This stick is commonly used in space and flight sims. However, I've only been using it in DCS. I haven't tried any other flight sims. This is the Pro Edition. There is also the Ultimate Edition, which I haven't tried, but I believe it does address some of the issues I faced with the Pro. So let's keep that in mind going forward. The Gunfighter Mark III Pro Edition is competing in the higher end of the market with the likes of Verpo and of course the trusty Thrustmaster Warthog, amongst others. Most of my experience is with the Warthog, so that's kind of the direction I'll be coming from. Let's talk about the design and the button layout. Initially looking at it online, it seems to have everything you need for a great experience in a combat flight sim. It's got 24 buttons, more than enough for most, with six analog axes. The button layout is really quite nice. I have average to large hands and have no trouble at all reaching any of them, apart from this red button on the top left. It's just a little bit of a stretch but nothing that would worry me. Maybe someone with smallish hands could find this a little difficult though. The stick is a nice size all round. It's very comfortable for long periods and it looks pretty cool. It has a very aggressive design that also matches the name. The base is very compact, which is always good. It does come with a mounting plate, which I think is for desk setups, but I'll be using it on a full simulator rig. So I'll be attaching the base direct to the cockpit. The base overall has a very premium look and feel to it. Now let's talk about the build quality. This is where I think things just start to fall apart. Not literally, but look, I'm gonna start with the base. The base is the star of the show here. The base is so good, it's outshining the grip like 10 to 1. I'll give you a closer look here and show you the sort of cam system running inside. It's butter smooth and I'm talking that highly processed spreadable butter and dampened to perfection. Look at this, it's beautiful. On a side note, you can buy the base separately, which is important based on how this feels. The base is an all metal build inside and out and like I said before it really is the star of the show. This brings me on to the grip. This lacks some weight and there's no other way to put it. The grip is made out of plastic but there's just no weight in it. It feels like a hollow toy. I'm really... Yeah, look, I am. I'm really disappointed with this. I feel like it needed to be made with a thicker, heavier plastic. I mean, it even sounds hollow and cheap. I want to make it clear that it's put together quite well. It really is. It's just way too light and empty feeling. But how does it fly? Because, I mean, that's one of the most important things. The stick overall feels nice to fly with. I'm hesitant to say it, but I think I get more accuracy out of this stick than I do with my Thrustmaster Warthog. It feels extremely accurate and easy to be accurate. There's no getting away from the fact that I really enjoyed flying with it. Based on that extra feeling of control, especially when landing or refueling. You know those sort of tasks where you really need some fine inputs, but I still can't get past the toyish feel of the grip. The buttons on the grip are what you'd expect. They have a reasonable click to them. Nothing that really stands out, just average. The lever on the lower portion of the grip though actually had a very nice weight to it, probably my favourite part of the grip. So my final thoughts, as I said before, the base is the star of the show. The build quality, all metal construction inside and out, the cam system and the springs are all extremely high quality, along with the rubber boot which delivers a very precise flying experience overall. Cannot deny that, but the grip yeah, the grip just lets it down a lot in my opinion. The design of the grip is a highlight. I love the design, I really do, but the grip needs to be made out of something heavier, something more substantial to stop it feeling like a toy. Now, even though this is the case, I did struggle going back to my Warthog. That extra precision I felt I had in DCS almost made it worth it. But in the end, I just struggled with the feeling of weight in the grip. The Warthog has that cold to touch heavy metallic feeling in it, which the VKB Gunfighter 3 Pro is just missing. For a 695 Australian dollar product, it's just not there. The only solution to this is to opt for the Ultimate Edition, which I believe is a full metal grip construction. I haven't tried it, but based on the build quality of the base, I'd say it'd have to be pretty good. And it's also an extra few hundred dollars. But if it fixes the weight issues with the grip, it could be an epic piece of equipment. So that's the VKB Gunfighter Mark III. 
a built like a tank base with a bit of a shell of a grip. Still a great product all round when you consider the whole package, but the base really is doing all the heavy lifting.